We're gonna be hitting the vault workout today. I'm gonna do a voiceover on this workout. So um, if you haven't already, like and subscribe and uh, we'll get right into this video. It's gonna be a voiceover while we're working out. So I'll see you guys there. Let's get this workout kicked off and it's going to start with body weight split jumps. You're going to do four sets of these and you're going to interval it with um, dumbbell front split squats. Now you're going to interval between these two for four sets with the splits, uh, the body weight splits you are going to do five on each leg and then you're going to do ten on each leg for the dumbbell front split squats. Pick a weight that you're comfortable with to create the biggest challenge that you're comfortable with. For me, it calculates it in the app, so if you're interested, you can always download the app and just try it out, guys. It is free for the first seven days. After that, you have to buy a membership for $10 monthly. Highly recommend it, but that's totally up to you. So let's get going on this again with the next. Van straight arm pull downs. Now with these, you're going to want to keep your elbows nice and tight into the side, and um, you're going to want that nice and controlled movement. So you're going to do another four sets of these, and you're going to do, I believe it was in the app, nope, yeah, it's 10 to 15 that you're going to want to try and complete here. Um, so that is the goal that they have down, is 10 to 15. They'll give you goals of what to try and hit for, like, bands. So intervaling in here, you're going to do barbell incline bench. This was the first time that I was doing it, and it actually, uh, Cortex calculated it after this rep where I said it was fairly easy, and it auto-adjusted me all the way up to 145 pounds. So, it, like I said, when you get into the first workout, it'll auto-adjust off of that first set, and it's not, not bad at all. So, from that point, you're going to do elevated hip extensions for your next set of intervals. With the elevated hip extensions, your goal is to hit around 8 to 15 of these. Try and be really explosive if you can. I was already burnt out on this one. I think I hit this on my third or fourth um, set, so I was pretty burnt out. So, from this point, you're going to go on to uh, dumbbell bicep curls, but you're going to do them parallel. Um, so, you're going to also do another four sets of this your goal is to hit 10 to 12 on the first one and then you're going to consistently just hit 10 after that so i was doing 25 pounds is what it calculated this is definitely way too easy for me i need to move up um try not to have that sway in my body trying to keep a nice slow and control to it But yeah, so that is the next interval that you're going to do. And then you're going to go on to the last stages. You're going to do scapular push-ups. So you're going to just do that little bit of a dip in your back there to really target the back. Um, these burn after the third one if you're doing them correctly. Don't mind my form. I believe this was on my <laughs> third or fourth set, so I was pretty burnt um, out as is. So... Yeah, but we're going to go on to the remaining one with this interval, and that is the band half kneeling pal-off press. Um, this is definitely for your core. <laughs> um, it's immensely hard for me. I'm using a 40, pi uh, 40, yeah, it's a 40 pound resistance band. I was going to say 45, but it's a 40 pound resistance band. It's immensely hard for me. It doesn't say within the system um, what kind of poundage to use for a band, but I went ahead and used a 40. Um, if I had access to a 30, I'd probably use that so I could uh, really, really work on the squeeze and hold it out there a little longer to challenge my abs, but that's what I've got, so that's what I used. Um, but yeah, that's uh, we're, we're going through the final phases here for the workout. We have one last thing, and that is band lane external rotation now with these I used a 10 pound resistance band and I did my absolute best to hold my elbow out like a chicken wing and 
with this app, it shows proper form of everything. So I love it. Um, so yeah, that is it for the voiceover pretty much of the workout. Now guys, just as a just as a disclaimer to finish off this video though, guys, this is not my workout. I uh, got this workout from an app called Volt, like I've talked about numerous times in this video. But that's going to wrap up the video, guys, with the workout. Definitely a lighter workout, but it still gets the job done. So, peace. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. You better smash that like button and subscribe.